Episode 1. Decisions, Decisions, Decisions. Oh no. My journey in the desert has come to an end. For I've run out of resources and haven't had any water for weeks. What to do? What? What's that over there? Oh my god, are you okay? Oh, thank heaven you're here. I've been... I've been out here for months. And I've been traveling for too long. Well, what on earth would have you traveling out here with nothing? Well, you see, I just got tired of the corporate life and decided to live on the land. Well, we just parked over here if you want to ride to the nearest gas station or diner. That would be great, ladies. Thank you. The group heads off. So what exactly is your story? Yeah, what made you do all that? Well, let me tell you. I used to be an investor with a high-end company during the crash. I lost all hope, and it hit me. I need to go back to my roots. So I traveled, and in my travels, I learned the essential things in life can be the hardest to come by. And I wanted to take my knowledge with me and help the rest of the world. Water. Clean, fresh water was all it took. Well, how do you want to take that to the rest of the world? Well, I was thinking, why not make a device that can take any water and purify it? Well, they have things like that. But not mass commercial scale, not, not funding or groups set to help other countries. Imagine in Starting a program like that. Well, I want to get back to town and maybe try to find some investors who want to start a business. Hi there, Jack. Hey there, Tuna. So... Sherry and Don wanted me to meet with you about my uh, business idea. Yeah, they told me all about it. I think it's a great idea. Well, let's get started on a, a few options. First, we need to figure out what our target market's going to be and how we're going to get funded. As the group got together, they sat around and debated on ideas they could use towards selling this product. The group came up with a few options. One was to start off with a small sales group, get some distribution going on a small portable product that could be used for athletic types that are just traveling around and want to have more purified water in their bottles. A little adapter that could be hooked up to any water bottle and carried around with you. The other ideas involved going more of a uh, broader scale, targeting large markets and trying to add distribution into our own brand of water bottle that you can buy at the grocery store. The group that sat around and debated these different options. They waged the pros and cons, the finances, and what could be expected. And eventually came to a final decision. To recap, Jack was an investment broker who lost everything during the downfall. 
the economic depression. He goes out on a lamb and lives in the desert and nearly dies. Comes to the conclusion that being able to provide water for people is a really big deal. Meets up with a few women who happen to have some business savvy and want to start some type of business. They all meet up, come to conclusion that they should start small, selling products that anybody can buy, and then deliver to the market and possibly work up to a larger company that can focus on a more global scale initiative to help out struggling third world countries.